Hello guys, welcome back to Game Blitz, and in this video, I'm gonna be discussing NVIDIA and their new Creative Ready Drivers, um, you know, and the Creative Ready Driver Program, and you know, what this is about, what you can expect, what does it do, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, to start this off, obviously NVIDIA has announced actually now released their creative ready driver program now what this is supposed to do guys is it's supposed to be um, I guess it kinda tells by its name creative ready driver program um, so instead of their normal you know gaming drivers um, like every so often, NVIDIA releases a new driver, a gaming ready driver. Like when a new game's coming out, or just released, or about to release, they release a new, you know, game ready driver that is supposed to optimize and, and stuff for that upcoming title or that upcoming game. Well, they now have like a second mode, if you will. If you open up your NVIDIA GeForce Experience, in the top right corner you'll see that there's two modes now you can switch between gaming drivers and creative ready driver program so the benefits of doing this guys is that you get better performance and you know better reliability when you're working with creative applications now this can include but not limited to you know the adobe's master collection you know any type of editing programs, um, you know, audio mastering programs, anything of that sort, things that you know you would typically use for video production, video recording, things of that nature. It's going to optimize those apps and more or less supercharge them, if you will. So, I mean, you can choose this creative ready driver. And then a big question you're probably thinking right now, you know, if I switch to that, is it going to overwrite my game ready drivers? Like if I click on the creative ready drivers and say I still want to play games, is it going to, you know, affect my gaming performance now since I don't have the game ready drivers? And the answer I don't think, it's not going to affect you know the game drivers so what they claim is that you know if you have this creative ready driver you still have the gaming ready drivers you know all of the things that the game ready drivers have included you know what I'm saying so you're not really losing out on game performance by doing this so the last thing you're probably wondering is what kind of performance increase or what kind of benefits does this actually provide me? And the latest statistics from NVIDIA conclude that there's about a 9% increase, speed increase, or whatever you want to say, in applications like Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Um, and even more in cycles in a program called Cycles using the branch R14 R418, which is the latest uh, Creative Ready driver. So they did have one before that version 41771. The newest one is 41967. So that's the newest uh, the newest uh, revision, if you will. So. Guys, yeah, I mean, it has a benefit, and for some people, it doesn't really matter, but if you are, you know, a video creator, or an editor, or anything of that nature, this is probably going to be something, you know, that you want to go for. Um, so, another thing on the performance, there's actually a frame rate. Uh, increase like when you're previewing or you know rendering a movie or whatever in After Effects or something there's actually going to be a frame rate bump of about two or three frames per second which is you know pretty hefty, hefty. 
So yeah, guys, let me know, you know, what you what your opinions on this is. If you, uh, you know, are trying out the Creative Ready Drivers, if this helped you in any way, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.